good morning or afternoon, depending on what time you are listening to this podcast, and welcome to yet another episode of Do Geese Have Udders, the show where we ask the unanswered and answer the unasked, looking at news and online stuff too. I'm Mark Gooch, and as always, I'm joined by my good friend, Matthew Thompson. You right, Matt? <laughs> good. Then let's start the show. Matthew, let's talk science and technology. I know you love science I and love technology. Science. Technology is a bit iffy, but I love a bit of science. So I actually wrote this um, question or this topic rather, I think last year, and it just didn't uh, make into the series, I think, because we were talking about so much nonsense. So I've been sitting on this for a little while, but it actually seems a little bit more relevant now that I've okay. waited. So do you remember Asimo? Asimo. Asimo. No, Azib, Azibu. A S I M O. Asimo. No. You don't remember Asimo? Isn't it like a you, supermarket chain? You guys remember Asimo, right? Listening, right? Yeah, you're definitely yes. you, you're you're agreeing. Um, was that your impersonation of Will? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi, Will. We know he's listening. So, Asimo, the um the robot by Honda. The this, this isn't the high uh, hitchhiking robot, is it? Um, no, that's oh that's. Martin, no. I wait. Do you mean Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? No, the robot that was a hitchhiker. No, that's not. That's um, a completely different robot. That's a robot I think developed in the US. Yeah. I think, <laughs> and it was um, its sole purpose was you know to to hitchhike. It yeah, was to go around America. Left in places, and then people. It, it was up to the kindness of the public to take it and move it on. Um, then I think they brought it to the UK. No, it got killed after three days, I believe. Yeah, I can't remember where that was. Though. Wherever its original location was, it went on for a while, and then this new location, which might have been the UK, or maybe that was the US, I think they said it got it like... The US. It got two miles and then was found like in a ditch somewhere. Yeah, it was a terrible-looking robot. Well. Um, it was like a trash can with like... Yeah, but its whole purpose was to like hitchhike. You, you know, it, like, it, it wasn't causing car. any harm. But back to proper technology. So you Yeah, don't, Asda. You, Tell me about Asda. <laughs> Asimo. Asimo, sorry. Asimo the robot. So Asimo uh, stands for Advanced Step in Innovative... Advanced Step in Innovative... Oh. Do, do you want to try again? Third time the charm. Oh, Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. Oh, cool. I was going to say, do you want me to read it? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't reached that stage yet. <laughs> so the Asimo was created um, by Honda back in 2000. It was sort of one of the first robots that could sort of walk on its own. It could respond a little bit to humans when they asked it a question. Kind of creepy. Um, a version of Asimo could run as well. And the definition of a robot running is, you know, whilst it's moving at speed, both of its feet are off the ground at okay. one point. And I remember seeing that on television. I think it was James May did a show or an episode or something talking about it. I was all big up on this. I loved Asimo. But then, obviously, I grew up a little bit time passed you know technology has advanced an awful lot no longer team as we we've we've got so many other robots and you know drones now and yeah, things like that phone. all these other robots like wandering around places and then last year the question hit me what what is asimo up to now what is, uh, what, what is he doing now this little how do you know say he i think it's, um because they they call him he oh okay um i i, I mean he, he hasn't got a gender but they just referred to him as he at the time. He might have changed it since then. Yeah, true. Uh, so I was wondering what Asimo is up to now that all these other robots are just sort of out and about and you know stealing the spotlight and one-upping him, really. And so apparently, this is where it becomes more relevant, Asimo made his last active appearance in March this year. Okay. And now Honda have retired him. And they are focusing more on um, remote-controlled, avatar-style robot robotic technology, according to this article I've got here. And so that just amazes me on how far we've come, you know, since I remember watching Asimo, you know, um, this video of him not realising what a door, or that there was a door in front of him. And so it was like a double door, and one of them opened. But the other one didn't, and Asimo just kept walking forwards and sort of sure. just like banged his head like on the door and then fell backwards. And they're like, Asimo, speak to me! You know, he's on the floor on his back. Just turn him off and on again. Again, I remember him crouching, I remember him carrying stuff, I remember him running. That was an amazing thing to watch, you know, when you were a kid. A robot running, that was the first proper thing, you know, that 
a robot did that was a bit like a human. And this is running towards you. And now, I mean, I'd, if, if Asimo ran towards me, I'd probably give it a hug. No. He's a dog. Have you not seen a That'd picture of Asimo? No. I'll show you. Look, look, there's a little picture of it. He's like, I think maybe four oh, feet, yeah, I know four that. feet tall. Yeah. Uh, he that lo- ran? He looks like, yeah, he ran. Um, I think he was described though he runs like he he has soiled himself. I think is how someone described it. He looks like how he runs. Skipping. But yeah, so if anyone else was wondering and remembers Asimo the robot, the amazing creation by Honda, he is he's retired now. He is just gonna go and sit somewhere, I guess, and just you know sit in his rocking chair on the porch. I bet it'll be in the watch the world go museum by museum for technology. I bet it'll be thrown. Well, into there are the... a few different versions of Asimo that made different appearances, but you know this is just this this is the main Asimo, I guess. Um, or maybe they're going to melt him down and turn him into a toaster. You know, it's, it's the circle of life, isn't Won't it? melt him down. Well, he's not every model. But no, they keep keep one. It's either that or they um, they can impersonate, you know, do a Daft Punk tribute act. Because, I mean, he does look a bit like he does. he's ready to sing Get Lucky. Just uh, download Siri into it and then the world's gone. What? Siri wants to take over the world. Yeah, but Asimo doesn't. Asimo's a nice little... He's a friendly little robot guy. Yeah, that's why he downloads Siri into that, and then he. I want to make a movie with around. Asimo. I want to take Asimo like around the world. I just want to like put him in the passenger seat of my rover, and just just take him for a drive. And I want to have his little robot head like looking out the window, all these things, you know. Trying to open the door. <laughs> Do little, I'll make little snippets for your beginning. I think they should colour Dettol. Personally. Like so a, is that a part of your intro sting? So is this now a conversation? Uh, it can be if you jump in. Oh god! Well, go on then. Can go on. Continue. You've, well, you've drawn me in now from researching mid topics. It's see. Have you not researched it before it? Well, I have. But I've, <sighs> Matt, we've been away for like six months. I've got to go back and check some of these topics. I guess. But please do enlighten our listeners with our series three and why Dettol shouldn't be transparent. Well, it's like water, isn't it? It's very misleading. Granted, the bottle is not like water bottle. But... Yeah, so what, you're going to pick up a debt? Oh, no, better not have a drink of that because, you know, it might look like water, but it doesn't taste like water. Well, kids kids do it. If your kid is drinking from a spray bottle with Detto on it, I think that is natural selection at its best. It doesn't actually say it's poisonous on it, to be honest. Well, at the rate you're talking, this is going to be a very short series if you're going to try and drink it. Yeah, I'll drink it by the end of the episode. No, but. You done your research yet? God. Yeah? No? I'm waiting for you, Michael. Personally, I right, think I'd right. make the colour of Dettol like orange or something. No one wants to drink anything orange. Okay. Fanta, Tango. No one wants to, I was about I, to say, Iron Brew. No one wants to drink anything black. Well, well, I mean, Coke kind of it's is. It's in a can. Have you had the new Coke? What's the new Coke? The Galaxy Coke. What's the Galaxy Coke? It's like a like purple colour. No. Even the inside's purple. No. Where are you, where are you getting this from? Coke store. The Coke store. Yeah. Right. It's, it's the new thing. Have you not seen it? It's no. everywhere. Well, f- nowhere I've seen it. It's not very nice. I got it out before they like came to shops because my dad works at Coca-Cola. So he got me a bunch and they're not very nice. Wouldn't recommend. Okay. They sell it for 19p. Now. <laughs> <laughs> 19p. That's how you know something's bad is when it's being sold for 19p. Yeah, it's not very good. Wouldn't recommend. Right. Okay. Well, we're going to have to get some like uh, different drinks and stuff in the studio at some point and do a taste test and see if we can Gotta work do. out what they are. Write that in your notes. I'll, I'll write that in not my too notes. Far Once down. I finish looking at this note, which I have now got ready. Hey, moving on. So, Matt, we've spoken about, I think, weird laws before we have. in the world. Um, I can't remember if we actually ended up uploading an episode that had us talking about the weird laws in Britain, such as, you know, um, you know the uh, Salmon Act, I think it's called, or something where it's like, um, it's illegal to carry a salmon suspiciously, Yeah, I think was the exact like law. Like pooing in a policeman's helmet or something on those lines. Quite possibly, that might be another one of Matt's dreams. I think that's right. Uh, then there's also like, um, it's illegal to wear a suit of armour in the House of Commons. Oh no, it's a pregnant woman peeing in a policeman's hat, that's allowed. That's a rule. You said it. What? It's a law. Is it? Yeah. Well, An old law, but it's a law. <laughs> it's still there. Make note, pregnant women and policemen. I found another weird law. Hit Although me. it's not in the UK. This one is not in the UK. This is a weird law from Sweden. Sweden, the country of the free. Country of the free. Well, not, not quite, if you like dancing. Oh. In Sweden, 
It is illegal to spontaneously dance. Isn't that from the like dancing plague or something? From from the dancing plague. Um, yeah, you know not, the dancing plague. I do know the one you're talking about. That's not this one. But do you want to briefly inform our listeners of what the dancing plague was? Uh, well, I don't know what country it is uh, where it started in, but I'm gonna guess it's Sweden, uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> where it's one not. person danced and someone else danced, and everyone just started dancing until they just collapsed and died. Yeah, and that, it was like I mean thousands. That's, that's pretty much the dancing plague or whatever, it, yeah. whatever they call it. It's a it's weird really, thing. It's really weird. Uh, I mean, we kind of got a similar thing now, I guess, with TikTok, but don't have it. <laughs> me neither. Good. Uh, so uh, we're neither of us are gonna get the um, dancing plague. No. But back to Sweden. Swad. It is illegal to spontaneously dance, and I know what you're thinking. How can it be illegal to just suddenly want to dance? You know, you get that sudden feeling, and you've got to yeah. be like, no. Restrict yourself, control those inner urges to dance. Well, according to uh, this study in Sweden website, this weird law forces pubs and bars to have a license in order for people to dance in them. It's <laughs> quite outdated and dates back to the 1970s. Dance permits were introduced as a way for Swedish police to prevent public disorder, which led to riots. Does dancing lead to riots? Well, that, I, guess I mean, it depends on the music. What, what? Well, if you have heavy We're metal, we're not gonna take it. Well, that type of music, or what? What? What music do you think would start a riot? Beep the straight from the underground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, maybe. Beep the police. So, apparently, though, we would actually be fine if we went to Sweden, cause the law doesn't actually apply to tourists. So we could go there, dance all we want. We could dance the night away to whatever song. Yeah. You know, to all that Carly Rae Jepsen. You know, everything you want to listen to. Bit of Queen popping. A little bit of Queen. It is not a crime to dance for customers, but it is, of course, funny that a restaurant or bar owners can be charged for illegal dancing in today's modern age. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to enforce that. Well, unless it's a, a person, a police officer who like went to dance school and failed. Well, apparently, though, you know, we, we might be um, nearing the end of this, though, because apparently the Riksdag is considering dropping this law in Sweden. No. Whatever what do you mean? What do you mean? No. Whatever will we do? There'll be chaos. But all this da- chaos. All, all this dancing and all these pubs, you know, all, yeah. all, this, all these riots that will come, come of it. Yeah, they ban dancing, but they uh, they let people dance, but they ban music. That's a good way to get around it. Well, then again, I mean, that's just jumping slightly to uh, obviously that strictly come dancing moment this year of the um, the deaf um, actress and her dance. You know, when they turned all the music off. That was that was just a nice thing. That's just a side note of, you know, something nice that happened this year. Someone I thought died. Was... No, they didn't die. You said they died. Deaf. Deaf danced. Oh. They danced. Did you not see it on Strictly? No. So she, she's deaf and then um, halfway oh, through the acting Strictly, yeah, they yeah, turned yeah, the music yeah, I off. Yeah, I know yeah. deaf. Yeah, yeah so we all know what I'm talking about, right? Good, I, it's not just me. Deaf. I thought you said deaf, not deaf. Okay, right. Everyone else heard that, I'm telling you. <laughs> Here's something else for you, um, for you, Matt, from Sweden, whilst I happen to be on this lovely page of the interweb. Yep. It is illegal to name your child... Suzanne. Uh, yeah. No. No, Matt. Oh, that would have been a good stuff. guess. Um, I don't even know... Well, uh, the name is apparently pronounced Albin, I think. Not Adolf. Um, no, but it's it's not spelt how you would spell it. I'm, I don't want to try and spell it out. Bear with me. It is illegal to name your child, pronounced Albin, B R F X X C C X X M N P C C C C L L L M M N P R X V C L M N C K S S Q L B B one 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 six. Yeah, you lost me. It sounds like I crashed. I sound yeah. like I have crashed. Did you say it began with a B? Yeah. Oh wow. So, born in 1991, Albin's parents named him in protest of this weird law that Sweden has of um Sweden nope of about Swe- to see. Sweden <laughs> Swedish first names shall not be approved if they can cause offence or can be supposed to cause discomfort for the one using it. And so someone named their child this yeah. in protest of that law. Um and their protest was, you know, unsuccessful and the parents were fined and told to give him another appropriate first name. I mean yeah, it's because not a good mean, first name. No, it's not. I it mean with a B. I mean it's it wouldn't fit on your passport, would it? It wouldn't fit on your name badge when you're doing your 
network in at work and it would be like the ones that just carry on imagine going fold it in. imagine going speed dating and you've got those stickers on and that's just like trailing all the way across your arm it'll and... go around you <laughs> like wear it like around. a scarf you can't use your arms because they're like caught in it and so that's um a couple of weird laws from sweden do we think that sweden's a weirder place than us no no me neither we're pretty weird we are weird Hey, thanks for listening to our podcast. Don't forget to give that follow or subscribe button a click so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And why not check out our Twitter and Discord too, where we post updates, behind-the-scenes stuff, and just general other news about the show. Links in the description below. Got any topics or questions you think need a proper answer or have yet to even be asked? Drop it in the comments below or send us a tweet. Until next time.